All right, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I build this little side project right here. And also, so far, we got 200 pay view on the app. So let me show you how I build this one. So this web application right here, I build this one for me and for the other people to find a cafe nearby with the highest Wi-Fi. So the main feature of this application is when you go visiting the uh, page, uh, you will see the map view with the pin locations. And the map right here looks really stunning and it's actually really easy to do. And another feature that I have, we have this one right here where the user can filter all the cafe nearby with the highest Wi-Fi. And another one is like if people don't know where to go, they just click on a random. We will pick a random location for them and then they can decide to go or not is up to them. So that is the whole idea of this application. And so the main part is going to be about the map right here right it's look really stunning and it is using the open street maps and to do this one i do not do any configuration like zero literally zero configurations and so the way that i use this one is i'm using the library called map cn so map cn is technically like a chat cn so if you use a chat cn you know what it's like and so basically as you can see the feature gives you zero configuration you don't have to config anything like uh seams we have dark mode and the light mode as well so to use it it's really simple you can just copy and paste this command right here and here's some example of how to use it so the one that i use is the example from the marker right here where i max the location and then i just change the style a little bit to my own application and basically you can just copy and paste this code and it will run out of the box and i believe this one will support only in react i'm not sure like if you are in Vue or in in other framework i do not know but you have to test it out as well so one of the thing we have like the advanced usage uh, where you can use the like the map fly to for example this one like map map on click you can check it out it's really cool and really uh, easy to use super easy um also we got the routes here as well this is not really accurate like it just point from one place to another but it's not like draw the line on the route but it's really nice as well yep that pretty much it on about the map and i think for my application right here in terms of like how i getting the data so so far as you can see i pinned like five different locations so this one is like i pinned manually i just go to different cafe record data by myself and so the next step that I wanted to do is to add the ability for the user to be able to lock in and also uh, pin the location as well. So probably in like in my city, in my towns, there's going to be like a thousands, probably, I don't know, like hundred uh, cafe. So if I go alone, I'll probably spend a lot of money and time as well. So we're going to build this feature as community basis where everyone can contribute and pin the location. And another one point that I want to share is how I track whether how many people watching my site and how many people interact with it. So I using like mixed panel. So I'm just trying to learn how to use it as well. And this is a tool that uh, in my company they use it. So I'm just trying to use it here as well. So I record almost uh, a lot of events. So for example, I record how many people actually click on source by nearby, thoughts by fast Wi-Fi. Uh, this one thing is like uh, how many people viewing the page and i think i need to do the customs date right here for example i launched this one so if i apply this one uh oopsie uh, let's do i'm gonna change this one back again i'm actually relatively new to this one i think one thing is i can click on this one and view inside of the total events of the page view so you can see and we can do some capture by days. So it should be okay. So you can see we have this one, this one on January 4. And if we do total, as you can see, we got 222 events that the user click on the page. So in terms of like how you set up mix panel and how you're gonna use it, you can just follow this documentation right here. I will ping uh, I will link uh, in the description. It is really easy. So basically what you need to do, just go into the mix panel and copy this code and with your mix panel token related to projects. And later on, you can just using like, for example, mix panel tracks and then the name of the events 
if you want to have like the identity. So for example, if you have the application and have like a certain user, you can track like how the user behave on your app as well, like by building identity right here. The reason that I get 200 view on the website right here is I post a video on TikTok. So this is my video. So, so far we got, uh, as I record this video, so far we got 10K view on the first day that I post surprisingly. And then I don't know, it's like maybe TikTok algorithm is really easy for people to uh, view my video or my view video is good. I'm kind of a little bit delugal right here, but who cares? At the end of the day, it's like, I was, I have so much fun building this project and, and I learned so much and there's really cool libraries right here that I just discovered. And so hopefully you can use this library to build something cool as well. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about this project? And also, I don't know, this is a welcome back video. It's been like, I don't know, one year since I did not post anything. So uh, hopefully you still remember me and there will be more video to come in 2026. And so happy to be back and see you guys in the next video. Peace.